Today I'm gonna go through a list of things that I was influenced by that are actually good. AKA my current favorites, things that I'm just really enjoying at the moment. And the majority of these things were influenced by someone else. So we've got quite a collection of things here. We have shoes, we have accessories, we have clothes, we have makeup, we have beauty stuff. We have a lot to cover. So I thought that I would show you my list of things that I'm just really enjoying at the moment. My current favorites, if you will, but also yeah, just things that I feel are worth the hype or worth the money and in case you were curious about some of these things you know this is just my personal opinion and my little mini review as always links to any of these things that are still available will be down in the description box below in case you want to check them out in case you want to shop them just as a quick mini disclaimer these are just my opinions so if you've purchased these things and they don't work out for you or if you hate them or whatever the case it's okay it's okay. I personally like these things and vouch for all of them. We'll get into all of it, but just keep in mind, these are my personal opinions moving forward with this video. Okay, so. There's nothing wrong with my views or beliefs because I have freedom of speech and everything I'm saying is true. We have a lot to cover as always, and you know how I love, love, love to chat. I love to chitty chat, chat away. So let's go ahead and jump into things that I am loving, that I was influenced to buy, that I actually think are good. Is this necessary? No, but I needed it. I'm kind of scared that I love these as much as I do. I'm not gonna lie, you guys were kind of right with that one. God help me. First off, I don't actually remember where I was first influenced to purchase these, but these are two items that I stand 10 toes down for. I'm kind of thinking that maybe TikTok was what first put this on my radar, but I'm not sure. If you've watched any of my other favorites videos or things that I recommend, whatever, you will know that I fell in love with the Uniqlo built-in bra tank tops. Those are truly a dream. I have it in every single color now. I wear them almost every single day. I hate bras. I absolutely hate them. They're the bane of my existence. And so so anytime that I don't have to wear a bra is the best day of my life, especially a strapless bra. So I've loved those for a long time. And then I saw these, which these are called the Aerism cropped tank tops. And these are a built-in bra tank that's just a little bit of a different neckline. They're also like convertible straps. So you can do either a tube top or a tank top with them. So I have them in white and black. I think they also come in like a beige khaki color and maybe like a dark gray. I am keeping my fingers crossed that they come out with these in multiple different colors because this material Material is amazing. I've never had the Aerism material before. It says here that it's cotton, nylon, and spandex. So that is the material. And honestly, like sweating in this, almost invisible. You can hardly see it at all. I just love these. I love the way they look so much. I love the shape that it gives the girlies. I just love that I don't have to think about it. It's just that perfect tank top that you don't need to wear a bra with, which is my dream situation, FYI. Uniqlo is a Japanese brand. I love them. I think they have so many good bases. I really, really hope that in the future they will extend to plus sizing because they only go up to a size double XL and that's what I wear in these. These are my two favorite tops in my closet right now. Like I pretty much pull for them every day and I'm like, okay, wait, I just wore those. Like I should probably rotate and you know, wear other things. I cannot recommend these enough. Okay, next up are a couple things that I got from Abercrombie. I actually tried on most of this stuff in my fitting room video that I did there recently. It was like a month ago or so and I fell in love with so many cool new pieces from Abercrombie. They have really done a 180 in the last few years. I feel like they've really started catering more to like a older demographic, like 30s, 40s, 50s, etc., instead of like teens and 20s. Obviously you can wear whatever you want at any age, but yeah, the two things that I have kind of been gravitating towards more than anything lately are these two white tees with like cute little graphics on them. So this first one is their baby tee and I got it with this cute little chili pepper on the front and like, look how precious that is. It is like a perfect baby tee tea, perfect crop. It's nice and stretchy, very soft, not a super thin material either, but also not like so thick that you can't wear it in summer. I just think it's great. And I think a little pop of red on the front is just maybe the cutest thing ever. And then I also got one of their skimming tees, which isn't much of like a super tight fit. So I did size down in it and I got it in a large. This is a little cake graphic, which this reminds me a lot of the Lisa Says God tees. Those are like, you know, $70 or something like that. I want to say this was on sale for $4. Definitely recommend these. Super cute with just like jeans, denim shorts, cute little skirts, whatever. You can't have too many white tees and it's just nice to have a little pizzazz on them, you know? A little something extra. 
And then the other thing from Abercrombie that I am equal parts happy and confused to report back about is this pair of their low rise jeans. I'm kind of scared that I love these as much as I do. These are called the baggy low rise jeans and I got them in a size 33, my typical size, which is like a 16. And I was sort of just doing it for the LOLs, you know? I put them on and I was shocked. I was shook to my core even. This with like a cute little tank top, it almost looked a million times better than when I wore high waisted jeans and I was like wait a minute have I been doing it wrong this whole time I was like no I'm not gonna buy a pair of low-rise jeans and then when that video came out all of the comments were like Carrie you better go back and get those jeans right now so I listened to the people and I did it I waited for a sale because they're usually like $100. I think I got them for like $65 or $70 on sale, so much better. I'm excited to style these and sort of see if I feel brave enough to wear them out and about. I just don't love the idea of like my midsection showing at all times, but I feel like the bunched tank top or like the cropped tank top with that is what looks best. So we'll see what ends up happening, but yeah. Who knew that in 2024 I would be saying that I purchased a low rise pair of jeans. I mean, they're kind of more mid rise on me, but still. I'm shocked, I'm shook. I'm not gonna lie, you guys were kind of right with that one. Next up is something that I showed in a short form video recently, and this is a sort of free people dupe. I actually have seen this bop around romper everywhere on social media lately, especially on TikTok. And it's just a really cute kind of flowy open romper. I don't love rompers cause I have thick thighs. So that's honestly my worst nightmare. And also going to the bathroom kind of sucks. You know, you're like sitting there naked on the toilet. No one wants to do that. So I found a dupe on Amazon. This is $38 as opposed to the $128 Free People romper. And this one is a dress, which just makes it so much better. It's so loose and flowy. This material is very much like a sort of, I don't know, nylon-ish material. Does it say? It does not. But for me, this is good. It's It doesn't feel like super high quality by any means, but for me, it's good because I sweat a lot and this isn't gonna show anything. Like it's just very sweat friendly, I guess you could say. It did get softer after I washed it as well, but yeah, it's got these cute little sort of puffy sleeves. They're like a little bit longer than a short sleeve and you can even like tuck them up and make them puffier if you want. It's just super open and flowy, very baby doll style. I love the colors. I think it comes in like a few other ones as well that are sort of similar to the free people ones and honestly like if a dupe is good I'm going with the dupe like I will always try to strive for the more budget friendly version when it applies and this is only a size large and I would say that it would fit someone like one to two sizes larger than me it runs like pretty generous honestly if I were to order another color I'd probably order it in a medium so just keep that in mind kind of similar to free people honestly and yeah then it has this cute little sort of like bungee looking cord in the front which is very similar to the other one I like the blue and green together and it's just adorable so yeah, I just have, thought I would, you know, let you know, put the girlies onto a more budget friendly version because I really love it. So if you saw me talk about that on like TikTok, Instagram, etc., cetera, um, I'm still wearing it and I still love it. Speaking of Amazon, I don't buy too many clothes on Amazon because I feel like, you know, most of the time it's not very size inclusive and the quality can be really hit and miss. But I was influenced by my friend Rosie or Rosie Blair and she showed this cute little like skort skirt shorts looking thing and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I think she had like more taupey brown version of this and I decided to go for it in blue and let me tell you, it is iconic. I got it in my usual size, which is an extra large. I do believe it goes up to like a two or three XL and it comes in so many fun colors and it's nice and loose and flowy but it's also shorts, which I was like, okay, hmm. Don't know how I feel about that, but I wore these one day for like 12, 13 hours and I didn't have a single lick of chafing. It's just such a fun alternative to like a flowy skirt where you have to wear shorts underneath it. It's just like the shorts are the skirt. The skirt is the short. It's just a very like breathable summer appropriate material. This says 100% polyester. So there you go. It's polyester. It's got a stretchy waistband, but it also has the little tie waist. And I love the way this looks on. I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. If you're in between sizes, I would probably say go with the larger size, but yeah, I got it in an extra large. It fits great. I love it. I definitely think I'm going to order it in another color because I wear it all the time. And I just think it's a fun little way to spice up a summer outfit. It's just something a little bit different. I love it. And Rosie was definitely correct with that one. You know, always can rely on her recommendations. 
Okay, next I'm gonna get a little controversial and a little brave. I have talked about this before and keep in mind, you do not need to purchase this. This is just something that I feel like is worth the money because of the quality and because of how much wear I get out of it. But I am unfortunately one of the many who have been influenced to purchase Daydreamer t-shirts. They are the best t-shirts I've ever worn hands down. And I mean that. I originally, I believe saw my friend Arielle Astoria wear one of these, I think it was this Spice Girl shirt, which I literally I wore to bed last night. I need to get it ready for the camera. This Spice Girl shirt is absolutely everything to me. I get so many questions about it. And all of these shirts, I'm pretty sure every single one that I have here is a one size shirt, which is interesting because you would think, you know, it wouldn't be that oversized on someone who's like a extra large, extra, extra large, but it's perfect. So when I bought this, I instantly fell in love. I think I might've also gotten this blondie one at the same time. And I just love these so much. The quality is unmatched. It's super soft. The price is crazy. I will say like almost a hundred dollars for a t-shirt is unhinged and insane. Very occasionally they have sales and you know, I've taken advantage of that before. But to me as someone who like my religion is oversized t-shirts. If you ever see me out in the wild, I am most likely wearing an oversized band tee and some bike shorts. It's been that way for years, honestly, probably since I was a kid. And so to me, it's worth it. They're also a sustainable brand. They're a small business, you know, things like that. So it's great. But yeah, I have this Spice Girls one. I have the Blondie one that I showed you. I also recently purchased three more. God help me. So I got this Born in the USA Bruce Springsteen one, which is so perfect. I've gotten so many compliments on this. It's so good. I also got this Queen one, which I believe was just released semi-recently. Um, it's got this like fun purple sort of taupey color. I love this one. I love sort of like stripes and accents on the sleeves. That one's amazing. And then also the iconic Shania Twain tee which I showed on my Instagram stories recently. I was totally influenced to buy this one because Taylor Swift wore it. Minutes away! Taylor, Taylor Swift! Ah! Okay. When I saw that it was available, I was like, you know what? I gotta get it. And I will say, you know, because I always am trying to find dupes, haven't been able to find any comparable dupes for those other ones, but Target currently has a gray version of this for like $16.99. So if you're also a 90s baby like me and you wanna shimmy shake, make the earthquake, kick, turn, stomp, stomp, then you jump, you can find a very similar version of this at Target, which I will also link down below. Um, but this is just such an iconic album such an iconic time in my life. And I do stand by the quality of those. However, I get so many DMs and messages like, Carrie, that is absolutely insane. Like, are you okay? You won't spend more than like $10 on a thrifted t-shirt, but it's just, it's just the rules, okay? They're really good, unfortunately. They're actually incredible. Next up, we have a few things from Old Navy. I'm just always seeing such cute stuff from Old Navy on like TikTok, Instagram, mostly short form stuff. I'm also seeing a lot of like fitting room videos at Old Navy, which I've done one recently. I definitely want to do another one soon. I also worked with Old Navy recently, which was incredible. So you guys know my love for Old Navy. I don't need to go into detail. However, I did discover this skort in a different pattern when I did my sponsored video with them. However, this is separate from that and I paid for this with my own money, but this is a another version of that skort, but it's in a different color. So this is just a white skort. I got it in a size extra large tall because I wanted it to be a little bit longer and it's just so comfortable, so cute. I do wish the shorts were just a smidge longer, but they work for me. And honestly, like it goes with absolutely everything. I just love a skort because it's the convenience of shorts, but it looks more dressy like a skirt. And then you have the stretchy sort of panel in the back. So it's just the best of all worlds to be honest. But I think I got this on sale for like under $15. So really good deal in my opinion. I love that one. And then again from Old Navy, I actually purchased a bunch of swimsuits recently. I <laughs> love their swimmer so much. And I'm telling you, I had a really hard time this year. I actually didn't even film a swimsuits video for the first time in like five years because I am struggling so much to find good swimsuits that like I'm fighting for my life out here. It's just hard to find like any long line tops anymore or like bandeau tops. It's hard to find high-waisted bottoms. Like, I don't know what's going on. Everything is like a string bikini again and I'm scared. Like someone needs to hold me. It feels like 2003 again. But I did find a few that I really liked from Old Navy. So, you know, a win is a win. So this first one is a little pink number. I actually did a fun little YouTube short, real TikTok, etc., where I tried on a bunch of these and they just look so cute. So I'll play that here so you can see what they look like. But yeah, we've got this little Barbie pink number. I also got this really fun like rainbow one piece. 
It's really cute and it reminds me of a similar one that I saw on, I remember what website, if it was like Andy Swim, but I saw a rainbow striped one piece recently and it was so cute, but it was like over a hundred dollars. Like when did swimsuits become a hundred dollars? Excuse me? But I found this one for I think like $15. So really, really cute. And then also a blue striped number that actually I'm pretty sure this top is just a sports bra, but I was like, I don't care. I'll wear it as a bathing suit top. And it's just this like V-neck. It almost kind of looks like the Lululemon, um, like a line tank tops and it has some pretty ribbing and you know just nice shelf bra situation which I love and then I kind of mixed and matched and went with these blue striped bottoms so these are high-waisted as well and just super cute and comfortable and I love Old Navy Swim I think this is like my third year in a row purchasing from them just because it's like so cute affordable size inclusive goes up to like a 4x honestly can't recommend it enough and I love Old Navy we don't have to get into that in this video you guys already know and then the last swimsuit is one that I got from Target again another blue striped number this actually might be the Andy Swim dupe that I was thinking of, but this is from the brand Shade and Shore, I believe it's called. I got it in an extra large. It's so cute. It's kind of like a little more of a high cut. It has sort of a square neckline and I love this one. This might be one of my favorites. This was, I think like $30, I wanna say. So much more affordable than some of the other ones that I was seeing for like a hundred plus. I just love this. I feel like it brings out my eye color. I love it with my hair color. I love it with like a cute little straw hat and like some linen pants. There you go, beach day outfit complete. It also has adjustable straps in the back, so I love that. So yeah, that is all of the like clothing items. Now moving into shoes. I have a couple shoe related things to show you. And this is an unbelievably exciting time for me because in a semi-recent video, I talked about how all I wanted in life was a pair of Birkenstocks that had sport mode. I just want a Birkenstock clog with sport mode. That's all I want. I just want like the same as the Crocs with like a, just a little strap to go around the back of my ankle. I think that would be perfect. And a lot of you in that video were commenting saying like, Carrie, there's something called the Birkenstock Tokyo. And I was like, I know I've seen those before, but they were only available in like a traditional leather, like a shiny white or black leather. And I was like, well, I don't want that. I want like the classic suede taupe color, you know, just basically like a Birkenstock Boston, but with sport mode. And then one day my DMs were getting blown up by so many of you saying, hey, Carrie, Free People has the sport mode Birkenstocks that you were looking for. For. And here they are. <laughs> this is one of the happiest days of my life. Like these are absolutely everything I have ever wanted. These are called the Tokyo. They're called the Tokyo 2 and they're exactly the same as a Boston, but they have a strap behind them. They are very expensive. Birkenstocks are pretty pricey, but they last for life. And I will say they're gonna take some breaking in a little bit. Like they're not uncomfortable, but they are just a little tight around the foot. So keep that in mind if you have a super wide foot. Make sure you either try them on or make sure that there's like a good return policy because they are gonna fit me fine. I just need to like break them in a little bit, loosen them up. The leather is, you know, a little bit tight, but I am so excited for fall with these. I do realize that I live in Arizona now and fall for us is like beginning of November. But regardless, I am going to wear these so much. I'm so excited about them. I don't have to worry about walking around and like gripping my toes to keep my clogs on my feet. I can just walk. I can run even. I got sport mode. They don't have the typical sport mode that like, you know, you can put in the front and put in the back. It's not like a convertible situation. It's just always there and I love that. So if you're like me and you've always wanted the Birkenstock clogs, but you feel like they just like fly off your feet or you don't want to have slip-ons, here you go. I mean, problem solved. I can't believe how quickly that came back around and I got what I wanted. I mean, that's very rare. So I'm very excited about these and I am already planning like a million outfits to wear with them. I can't wait. It even amazes me that I get everything that I want. Another thing that I've been having fun with recently is like accessorizing my shoes. I know that, that sounds silly, but it's just like a fun little thing and you can totally DIY it yourself. But I actually, when I was purchasing those Birkenstocks, found this set of really cute like shoe accessories. And I was like, that's intriguing. I think I first saw Amber Filler up doing this where she like decorated a pair of her Adidas Sambas. And I've seen a couple other TikToks like from my friend Tony. Her at is Ann and Kathleen. I just love seeing 
the girlies doing fun things with their shoes. So I decided to do a pair of gazelles and I love the way they turned out. So here is a little, here's a shoe tour. We have this cute little pearl one. It has this little four leaf clover, which I think is adorable. It's also got this like side chain that has like a little heart with some sparkles around it. And then this white bow, like how fun is this? And then I also added one of my own pins. I think I got this from like a bookstore or a random stall when I was in Seattle in like 2018. So not able to link that, but I just thought that it was so cute all together and you know, pretty subtle and not for everyone for sure. But for me, I just think it's such a fun little way to pizzazz up your shoes. And I just love accessorizing and wearing like funky pieces of jewelry or big chunky bracelets or anklets or whatever. And so this is just like a fun little extra way to accessorize. So the kit was $20. You could probably DIY it for a lot cheaper if you wanted to just like buy little safety pins and glue things on there or add beads or whatever you want. Um, but yeah, it's just a fun customizable thing and I'm super happy with it. I do think I'm gonna do it to some other sneakers because it's just fun. It's fun. I love being a woman. Next up for an accessory, I found this cute little necklace. It kind of was another pairing that I did with the Free People Amazon dupe dress. And this is an Amazon necklace that is like this kind of like, is it called Baroque? Baroque? This sort of like Baroque kind of pearl necklace that is so, so popular at the moment. I've seen so many of them. I've seen them for up to like $300. And this is like a, I think $12.99 version. And I love this thing. I've been getting so much wear out of it. I love wearing it on its own. I love pairing it with other cute little dainty necklaces. Obviously they're not real pearls and I prefer it that way, you know? I don't wanna spend a ton of money on like a big statement piece that I don't know if I'm gonna be using for an extended period of time. I'd rather just get a more affordable dupe and this is a great one. So I honestly vouch for it. It's very comfortable. I am kind of sensitive when it comes to certain things that I wear and this doesn't bother me at all whatsoever. And it's very affordable. So we love that. Okay. And then for some sort of like beauty-esque makeup, you know, et cetera products, we have a sunscreen that I was like very intrigued by that I was definitely influenced because it's all over Instagram. And this is by the brand Vacation. It's their classic whip SPF 30. It is a whipped sunscreen, which like, is this necessary? No, but I needed it. I needed to know what this can of whipped cream looking sunscreen was like. And honestly, it's great. I've used it once. I'll show you a little bit of like what it looks like, but it truly, <laughs> it comes out like a whipped cream. You can put on sunscreen anytime. So I'm gonna go for it. But here is how it applies. It's just like a nice, sort of whipped texture. And I just think it's so cool. Is it something that I'll like repurchase? I'm not sure because I just usually buy like, you know, grocery store or like drugstore brand sunscreen, but it smells lovely. It's just a fun, luxurious product. It would be a great gift as well. Like if you had a birthday coming up for someone or you wanted to like throw something in there for summer, I think this would be a great option. So it's SPF 30. It says that it's water resistant for 80 minutes. And yeah, just a sunscreen mousse is really cool. And I love it. So I was influenced to buy this and I can vouch that it is really nice. It does say that it's cruelty free, vegan, PEG and paraben free, non ozone depleting propellant, etc., etc. And I'm just a sucker for cute packaging and branding. Like imagine throwing this in your pool bag or your beach bag or whatever. And like, it's cute and it smells good. It doesn't really smell like sunscreen. It just smells like that lovely sort of like coconutty, tropical, you know, getting a tan vibe. So I'm all for it, but I was influenced to buy it and it is actually good. So I can vouch for it. Next up is a product that I was recommended on YouTube and I saw this foundation, which the brand is called Tear Tear, I think is how you pronounce it. I believe it's a Korean product. And this is a foundation that's in a compact in like a little sponge. It's the most unique, cool, different product ever. This is called their Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation. I am in the shade 21W Natural Ivy. I kind of just guessed the best I could. But this is just so unique in that when you open it, it has this really cool sort of like puff applicator. And then you open this little door and it's basically like a sponge that's soaked with the foundation. So you just tap the little puff in there and then the product comes out on the puff and then you just apply it to your face like a normal foundation. And it's so long wearing, it's really full coverage. I just wanted to know what it was like because I had seen so much about it and I was like, what in the world? Like this is just the most fantastic, fascinating thing ever. Definitely on the pricier side, like comparable to like a Sephora foundation or something like that, but it 
really does last all day. So if you are on the market for like a super long wearing foundation, this is a great option. Next up we have a perfume. I actually got like a miniature size of this just because I wanted to test it out and sort of see because I had seen a lot of people talking about this like when it first came out, I don't know, like a year ago. I honestly don't remember, but this is the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla perfume and it smells so lovely. To me, it doesn't have that heavy of a vanilla scent, but it has like a vanilla essence. It's like kind of musky. It just smells really, really good. And so after seeing a bunch of people talk about this one and the cloud one and the mod, I think floral one, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm much more of like a warm scent kind of gal. I've always been a vanilla girl. I've always really loved these types of scents. So yeah, I tested it out. I really love it. I'm wearing it today. It smells delicious. I don't know if I'll end up purchasing the full size of this just because I get really sick of scents very quickly. If you saw in one of my de-influencing videos a while back, I talked about how glossy AU just like turned on me one day and then I got the ick and I didn't like it anymore. Nasty, 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 unnecessary, gross, disgusting, I'm horrified. It just smells really clean and fresh and like, yeah, a hint of vanilla. So I would definitely recommend this if you were on the market. Miss Ariana did her thing with that one. She absolutely did. Okay, and last but not least are two products that I was actually influenced to buy because of my nieces. They are beauty girlies. They love checking out all of like the newest products at Target and Ulta and Sephora. And you know, I gotta stay cool with what's happening with the teens, you know what I mean? That was the oldest thing I've ever said, but seriously, um, they always love the Tree Hut brand, which is like an OG. I feel like I started using it maybe in high school. And if you don't know, they have a lot of like body products. So like body scrubs, body washes, lotions, etc. And I got these two to keep in our bathroom for when they stay at our house. And I actually have been stealing them and using them because I love them so much. So this first one is the Balancing Shea Sugar Scrub. Shea Sugar Scrub. This is like the OG of theirs, I'm pretty sure. But this is in the scent Moonlight Glow and it smells phenomenal. Oh my God, it smells so good. I absolutely love this one. So this one has already been used and it's great. So I definitely recommend this sugar scrub. And then I tried one of their body butters too. This is a whipped body butter. It says it has Moroccan argan oil, rosehip oil, and shea butter. And we got it in the scent Moroccan Rose. Oh, it smells so good. It's so clean smelling. I absolutely love it. And it truly does have like a bouncy whipped texture. It's just so insane and cool. So yeah, now they put me onto two new products that I actually really love myself. So I was influenced, but by my nieces. So yeah, that is all of the things that I was influenced to buy that I genuinely love. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, thanks so much for being here. Let me know if you have any product recommendations or things that you want to see me try out or things that you were influenced to buy that you really like or things that you don't like or if you want to see more of these types of videos, all of that, leave it in the comment below. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!